Oh, hello, good evening. Hello, Freddy's. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. Uh, welcome, welcome. Okay, we'll begin here in a few seconds. Less than a minute or so. It's almost 8 o'clock. How are you feeling, Freddy's? Are you feeling better? Yeah, I feel kind of better. Okay. The only, the only thing that always happens is that the smell never comes back and the taste neither. So, and sometimes it gives me some headache. Then my throat, sometimes it hurts. Okay, well, I'm glad. I hope you make a full recovery. I hope you, you, uh, acquire your senses back right because we need the the smell and taste right yeah <laughs> exactly okay let me see hello edwin hello fabio hello teacher okay welcome i have a a lot of activities edwin for today for uh to do some of the some of the topics that we have done this week so i have prepared okay. something okay Okay, yesterday. Good, thank you. Excellent, excellent. All right, we have Blanca here, Abigail, Flor, and Diana, right? Welcome to the class. Let me see. Okay. All right, let me see. Let me open up here. Now, I, I checked the... the analysis from yesterday using quantifiers and I sent everyone uh, the response those that uh, those that did it um, let me see someone said thinking can't get into the reunion okay can open it uh, who is that that said I can't um, Okay, I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. It says Smiley the girl. I don't know who that is. Okay, does anyone know who that is in the group? Smiley the girl. Blanca. It was me. It was me, but but I can't get in. <laughs> okay. Later. All but right. this is yeah. You. I have problems. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. that's me. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you're here today. Right, you're connected now. All right. So that's great. That's great. All right. Let me see. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. I'm going to. Turn on my camera in some minutes. Just I'm going to finish my dinner. Can I? Yeah, sure. Sure, no problem. No problem. Okay, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Maybe you can share with the class <laughs> some of that food. <laughs> yes, invite us. Yeah, invite us or invite us and say, welcome, come on down, right? Invite the hamburgers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So big hamburger, right? Half a pound hamburger. <laughs> All right. So I sent, um, I hope I didn't miss anyone, but I checked your, the activity, the activity, right? And it, it was basically like I said yesterday, it was basically a diagnostic, diagnostic activity. What does that mean? Diagnostic means I wanted to see. I wanted to see how much you knew about quantifiers, right? That is a diagnostic activity. Okay, it wasn't so much of a homework; it was a diagnostic activity. That's why I said um, yesterday it was going to be individually. Remember, individually, right? Not in pairs, not in groups. Individually, it was like a little surprise. I, I know some of you were surprised, like, whoa, right? And some of you didn't send it, 
maybe because you didn't understand or you didn't you didn't remember some of these quantifiers when is count or non countable nouns because that is the key right but don't worry right that's why i am here to help you so don't don't get all frustrated or anything. i have a i have plenty of activities for today okay and we're going to practice we're going to do basically two sections that are the most complicated right the most complicated because one is only for countable nouns and the other is only for non-countable nouns or non-count nouns. But don't worry, we have plenty to do, to do today. So um, don't get discouraged in any way. Okay, in any way, do not get discouraged. I am always here to help you. Okay, and we will get through this. All right, I'm going to take the, um, let me see. Mm -hmm. Some of you uh, did very good. I had I had some that pretty much did it correctly, right? All all, all of the answers were correct, so I pretty much didn't have to uh, make any notifications. But to the ones that did make a few mistakes, I gave you the correction, and I also accepted some other alternative answers. And I will show you the answers here shortly. Let me just um, go to this book, this module, because there's like a reading activity also, if I'm not mistaken. And today we finished unit one. We, we already pretty much finished, but we will, um, we will just do a final page. I think it's page 16, right? Page 16 and a little bit of page 15, which is at the bottom. Let me let me just project it to you and I'm going to share it right here. I'm going to share it and basically this is the activities that we will be doing for today. Okay. We're going to do some of these activities, but we are also going to do let me see. Let me share screen. No, this is uh, this one. Yes, that one. All right. Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Yes. No. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. Great. So we did. We were talking about this yesterday, right? About quantifiers. We're going to do this small vocabulary here, but there's also a reading activity here, and that's it. We're finished with unit one. Right, and then we will begin unit two tomorrow, dealing with marketing for starting tomorrow. Please, before you enter the class, try to read a little bit, okay? Try to scan, scan, scan in, and the 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 points in the unit two. Try to scan it and try to give it a brief reading to analyze before you enter the class, okay? That is my recommendation. But we're going to begin by taking the attendance, the first one. And let me see. Abigail, Guadalupe. Let me see. Abigail Guadalupe. Hello. Okay, no respuesta. Um, Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Blanca Stephanie Navarro. Present. Okay, thank you. Brenda Erlinda Sainz. Brenda. Okay, no answer. Carlos, Jose. Okay, no answer. Diana Yesenia. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin Alexander. Present. All right, thank you. Flor Idanma. Present. Okay, thank you. 
Francisco Amadeo. Present. Okay, thank you. Freddy Vladimir. I'm here. All right, great. Glenda Laura. Glenda, okay, no answer. Iris Beatriz. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, let me see. Jacqueline Xiomara. Present. Think, all right. Jarvin Isaac. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Gisela. Present teacher. Okay, great. Thank you. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Thank you. Miguel Angel. Ayala. Okay, no answer. Fabio. I'm here. All right, great. Uh, Rolando Antonio. I'm here. All right, thank you. And Jessica Yanari. Okay, no answer. All right, let me see. Okay, let's continue. All right, this was the first attendance. And let me see. 15, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 15. All right, great. Okay, class. Let's begin. Okay. All right. Where is Edwin? Can you read, please? Yes, of course, teacher. Okay. Quantifiers, exercise, group interactions, strategies to handle the, the decline of the product reading and speaking. Okay. Wednesday, September 22, 2021. Mm, 2021, okay. right? Mm, right here. Where? Mm. Two, 22. Mm. <laughs> uh, 20, remember, there are two types of numbers. Mm -hmm. Ar cardinal numbers and ordinal. Mm -hmm. When we say the date, we use... Okay. Okay, we use ordinal numbers, right? Ordinal. ordinal. Yes. All right, so this is an ordinal number. We say 22nd. 22nd. Exactly, yes. Okay. Second. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you, right. teacher. Very good. Excellent. This what is, all right, this is a cardinal number, class number five. But when we say the date, we use ordinal numbers. Okay? So I put the little ND to give you a reminder, right? 22nd, 22nd. Great, thank you, Edwin. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of quantifiers. I checked everyone's um, answers that you sent me yesterday. Some of you did great, but uh, some of you had a little, just a few mistakes, and some had a little bit more, and some didn't do it, right? Either way, it was just a diagnostic evaluation from yesterday, that's all it was. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to have group interactions, breakout rooms, and we're going to do a small part of what it of what the module says pertaining to strategies to handle the decline of a product. And we're also going to do the basically a reading and speaking at the same time. Okay, now um, yesterday I showed you this. Right, and if you want to go to your module, if you want to go to your module, please do so, or you can look at it here, and it's on page 15, right, page 15. Now, on page 15 of your module, the information that is there, I understand that is brief, right, es algo breve, right, when it comes to this topic. So I'm going to amplify it for you and give you plenty of activities to work with. 
the most important thing that you have to remember is what are countable and non-countable nouns or what is referred to as uncountable. I gave you a little box here to help you a little bit more. I gave you little checks, okay? I think this box works better than this one, right? I don't know which one do you prefer to use, but I gave you something extra here. If you notice here, little and few, or we can say a little, right, or few, these are totally opposite. And this is where some get confused, right? Because little, you can only use it with uncountable nouns. And then few, you can only use it with countable nouns. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, if you look at it here, little only with, un let me make this, right? If you notice, only here, uncountable. Whereas few is only for countable. But both refer to something small or slight. If you notice here, small, small. They both refer to something small or minimum, right? That's or minor. Minor slight means poquito, right? Just a little bit. Small, small quantity or small amount. But look at the opposites. Right. So we're going to work with this. A lot of, you can use it in both, both. Both with countable or uncountable. But look at this, many and much. Aquí donde hay mucha confusión. Many and much. In Spanish, it doesn't change. But in English, it does. It does. Although they both mean, look, very or a lot numerous. Bastante or mucho, right? Now, many is uncountable. You cannot use it with uncountable, only with countable. Versus much, look at the opposite. Much only with uncountable. And then the rest are easy because you can use it either or, either or, either or, right? Ambos se pueden utilizar en las dos, contables y no contables, countable and uncountable. These are the two that are the most complicated and these two. Okay, but if there's a difference in me just speaking, 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 right, then practice, practice, practice. All right, so I'm just giving you the reading and the reading part and the the structure or a little bit of the rules. But the only way a person is going to learn is if they practice. So I have a few activities for you to practice with. So don't worry about that, all right? Now, some of these words, some, some, what does it mean? Do you know the word in Spanish, some? Algunos. 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 Algunos, very good, right? Very good. And you can use for both. Lots of is pretty much almost the same as uh, a, a lot of. Okay, si ven esta, a lot of, lots of, it's the same thing. Es lo mismo. ¿Qué es el significado? The meaning, a lot of. It's right here. A large number or amount. Bastantes. Right? A lot, lots of. Few and little means poco or pocos, right? That is the way you would say it in Spanish. And many is, uh, and much, bastante. Any, do you have any pizza? Tienes algo, algo de, any, right? Or it could be something negative whenever you never do it. You never do any homework. You never do any, any what? Any reading, right? Because it's nada, right? Any could mean a negative form of never, nada, or you never do anything. Never, nunca, right? But you can use any with countable and uncountable. So these are easy. These are easy, okay? It's just knowing what they mean, right? 
But yesterday I asked you about these sentences. One, two, three, four, five, and six, right? And some of you got them correct, and some of you had a few errors. So I'm going to show you the answers. Okay, I'm going to show you the answers. Let me see. All right, do you see them here? All right. Now, the 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 ones that were incorrect, las que estaban incorrectas, the ones that were incorrect were one, three, and five. One, three and five two four and six were correct so what was the problem let's look at this it had original the original word was much right la palabra original que tenía era much let me see right if you look at it here much right but look what follows it. Customers. 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 Podemos contar a los clientes? Can we count customers? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So if we can count them, aquí está la clave, Edwin. Okay. So if you can count customers, it will be in this block. Count nouns so much is over here non count nouns no contable so therefore this is incorrect so you have to use one of these quantifiers that relates se relaciona con countable nouns so algo que significa much aquí where would it be Many. Many. Excellent. Now you mm. see. Okay. So you change much to oh. many. Too many. Too many, right? Now, that is the key here. Understanding whether we have a count or non-count noun. Okay. Now. Number three. Let's look at this. Uh, Beatriz, can you read it, please? Yes, before sales decline, it is essential that we implement a great deal of modifications. Very good, modifications. Can we make more than one modification? Podemos hacer más que una modificación en algo? Yes. Yes, right? Yeah. You can modify something 10 times, right? So you can count it. It's contable. It's countable. Okay? But look at here. A great deal of. Where is it? Is it, is it here or here? ¿Dónde está esta? A great deal of. Where non -cam. is it? Ah, non dice aquí, non-count. But we said... We, we can count modification. Ah, entonces esto está incorrecto. This is incorrect. So what would be a great deal? A great deal of. How can we use one of these to make it something? A great deal of. What can we put? A lot of. A lot of, all right. A lot of modifications or? Many. Plenty, plenty right? Many. Or, or many also, right? You can you can add more, right? Many, plenty of. Many significa uh, varios o bastantes, plenty of, right? Or algunos. You can put some also, right? But the 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 sentence says before sales declines, antes que los precios los precios disminuyan, it is essential that we implement. Es esencial que implementemos que algunos or many or plenty of, right? plenty of or many many modifications right many or plenty of modifications that's why you have it here okay 
Now, if you put some, yeah, it could be acceptable also, right? Because it might not be a lot of modifications, right? You can do some and the product grows more. Can it be a few? Excuse me? Can it be a few? Exactly, it can be a few also. Yes, Freddy's. So if you had, if you had some, but um, it, with, with a few, you're going like a little bit, um, a little bit with, it's okay to say it because it's not incorrect, right? It's not incorrect. It wouldn't be incorrect, right? Because just like I said earlier, you can just make a few or some modifications and the product can still grow, okay? So if you put few or some, you're not incorrect. You're also correct, okay? But the most, the most accurate one would be plenty of or many because we're talking about a great deal. But if you put few or many, like I said, you are also correct. Okay, there's no, uh, no error in that one. Now, the other one was number five. Can you read it, uh, Iris? A little competitors. Mm. One more time. Competitors, competitors. A, a, little, a little competitors have established low price prices. for product prices for products similar to ours. Very good. Similar to ours, right? So we have we have here it says a little, right? The original word is a little. A little competitors. We can count the competitors, right? Podemos contar los competidores, right? So a little is here. So that is incorrect. Competitors is a what? Count noun. Lo podemos contar. So what will what will go there? What would be the correct one? A few. A few. A few. Right? A few. Right? Algunos. A few. Because we have count noun. Y competitors, dijimos que se pueden contar. Yeah, you can count your competitors, right? La competencia son uno, dos, yeah, todos ellos, right? Or one or two agencies, right? So we can, we can, uh, we have established that they are, this is a count noun. Therefore, this a little is incorrect because a little is only with non-count nouns. Only with non-count nouns. But you're probably asking, well, teacher, can you give me some examples using a little then, right? And a few, maybe a little bit more outside of the book. No worries. I have some activities especially for that. Okay, so don't worry about that. I'm just giving you the feedback pertaining to the, the, uh, this activity in your uh, module or in your book. Okay, the important thing is this. This is the focus. Okay, this is the focus. When you use quantifiers, you must use, you must use them correctly, pertaining to whether they are count nouns or non-count nouns. Now, here are the answers. If you want to take a, a picture or a screenshot, that way you can do it correctly in your notebook. But some of you, I accept it some other uh, some other quantifiers for example here i accepted a few or some um i also accepted some here with uh with somebody put that some here some competitors if you put put some i also accepted it as a correct answer or many some someone put many competitors i also accepted that also okay Thank you, teacher. I, I really understand more now. Um, but sometimes it's weird because I use these those words and actually I don't know why I can do this yesterday. Because when I was talking to someone, I, I can ask to someone, hey, how much money do you have for, for buy something? You know, mm -hmm. hey, you see how much traffic was today? Yes, and, exactly. and 
and uh, like I use those words, but I don't know why I can. I couldn't use it. Uh, I, I don't know why I couldn't use it in in, 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 in formal. Like I don't know if you if you understand me. Yes, in other words, in the activity, right? In the activity. Yeah. What what happened was what I believe Edwin is that uh, you mm -hmm. probably were like oh you were like you went into a stage of shock in a state of hey what's going on here right I know it <laughs> but I can't do it and I think you got frustrated okay I noticed but I I, do. Uh, I admire your 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 honesty yesterday right so I took that into account for this activity also and also some other other classmates that made a few errors. And that's why I said, okay, I'm going to do some activities, right? But don't worry, Edwin. Um, today is the last day for this module, and we have plenty of time, right? Like I said yesterday, it was a diagnostic activity. Era una actividad diagnostica, all right? So I think I got some of you like, whoa, what's going on, right? But don't worry, Edwin. All right, I'm glad you're understanding, okay? That's, that's very important for me. Okay? Thank you. No problem. Now, here I'm going to amplify it. Se lo voy a amplificar. I'm going to amplify a little bit more to give you more information. Um, let me see. Fabio. Yes? Can you read, please? Countable nouns. Countable nouns have a singular and plural form, can use a singular verb or plural verb. Um, sure. Have a singular and plural form, uh, we can count a tree, two trees. And can use a singular verb or plural verb, the book is old, the books are old. Very good, continue. Uncountable nouns have only one form, not plural. The ones we cannot count, bother, bothers is Yeah, incorrect. you see, you put the S is incorrect. That's another That's thing fine. that you have to remember. There is no, there's only one form. There's only one form. So it cannot be plural. It's only one form. So here, let me go back here. If you look at here, Competitors, it's plural, right? It's plural. If you notice, these are plural modifications, customers, modifications, and competitors. Those are plural, right? So here it says no plural. So they that's why they are countable. Okay. Los no contables no son plurales. There, there's no plural. In other words, you cannot add the S. You cannot add the S, okay? Uncountable nouns stay the same. They do not change. Continue, please. Okay. Always use a singular verb. Uh, sugar is sweet. Very good. We're talking about sugar, right? Sugar is uncountable, okay? You, you don't say, um, you can't say like, oh, yeah, Put two, two little grains of sugar, right? Pone dos granitos de azúcar, no right? No, because you can't. You just say, sugar, yeah. Boom. How many? Two spoons. Boom, boom, right? You can't count, right? You can't count the rice, right? El arroz. You can say, somebody says, yeah, quieres arroz y le va a poner un arrocito. One little grain, right? Boom. Ahí está. No, they give you a spoon or, or however much rice you're going to eat. All right? Continue, please, Fabio. You're doing great. Okay. Cannot use a and or a number before them like we can use a rice just rice bread rice bread because like we can two, say yes we cannot use articles okay we cannot use articles or numbers with uncountable nouns okay remember that you cannot use unlike here countable you can use a tree two trees here you can't you cannot use them. Never. Teacher. Yes. Why bread is uncountable? Because it is considered uncountable. It's just bread. Okay. Now, in the English language, bread is considered uncountable. But that is a good question. 
Right? In English, it's a... pan, no más pan en general, is uncountable. Well, but can you say, can I have two pieces of bread? Yes. There you're being specific. You're changing it. You're yeah. adding, you're adding, you're adding more structure to it. You can say um, two pieces of bread. Now you're being specific, two pieces of bread, but in oh, general, okay. uh, you can you can you can say two breads. Yeah, it's true. Okay, you, can, you can't, right? Right? You can't, right? Because you cannot put s two breads. You can't. In Spanish, you probably can, right? Dos panes, but in English, you can't, right? Give me yeah, two Spanish breads. Bread. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, all right. So that's probably the little dilemma that we may face with dealing with the English. Bread is uncountable, but you can you can modify it. Okay, Freddy, just like you said, dos pedazos de pan. That's different. Two pieces of bread, or a lot of bread, or a lot of bread, or two slices. Dos tajadas. Cuando está el pan de caja, tienen en tajadas, right? In slices, right? You can say two slices of bread. Pero aquí ya, les, ya no estamos utilizando no only bread. We're using specific, right? We're using specific. Here we're using two slices of bread. Y notice, aunque lo hagamos con dos, bread no cambia. ¿Miraron eso? Two slices, right? Aquí cambia. The modifier changes, but not the noun. Not the noun, se queda igual. It stays the same. Even here, two pieces of bread. You cannot put breads, okay? Because it's uncountable. Very good question though, Freddy. Excellent, all right? And that is the same with uh, maybe, uh, like for example, um, cheese, right? Cheese. You don't say two pieces of cheeses, right? No, right? <laughs> right? Dame dos pedazos de quesos, right? No, you can't, right? You can't, right? You can't, right? But you can say two, two slices, right? You can buy bread. I mean, I'm sorry. You can buy cheese in, in the supermarket, right? That come in slices to make sandwiches, right? Two slices of cheese. But you cannot say cheeses. Right? No, it's not count, uncountable. Okay, but very good. We're learning. Okay, maybe refreshing, refreshing a little bit, right? Okay, great. Now, here are some more uncountables. Let me see. Rolando, can you read, please? Uncountable nouns? Okay. Um, uncountable nouns are often abstract ideas. Very good. And not, okay. and not touch. Okay, very good. So we're talking about abstract ideas. Ideas abstracted, right? Abstract ideas. You cannot touch. For example, continue, Rolando. Love, freedom, education, luck, health, beauty, music, thunder. Very good. So these are abstract ideas. Love, right? You cannot put loves, okay? Now you can say in, in, a, in a verb, right? But here is just incountable, right? Are they countable or non-countable, like love, okay? Very good, or freedom, education, luck. We saw luck, we saw luck uh, yesterday, right? Suerte, right, with luck. Very good, continue please, Rolando. Made of smaller parts. Sugar, rice, salt, sand, flour, dirt, dust, traffic, grass, spaghetti. Okay, can you repeat this one? Flour. 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 Ah, flour. flour. All right, very uh, good. Yeah. Flour. Flour. Right? Flour. Excellent. All right. Very good. Flour. All right. Okay. okay, flour. Flour is like the the it comes in a bag to make like tortillas 
no sé, I don't know how you say it in Spanish, but it's like, it's a white powder. Harina. Excellent. Harina. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's what it means, right? So it's a, it sounds similar to a flower, but this is flower, flower, all right? Flower. Flour? Flour is... Okay, don't get confused with flower. I'm sorry. Don't get confused with flower. Flower, where, right? Like where, where were you, right? Flower and flower, flower. Flower, flower. Right? They're totally different. All right, let me okay. see. Someone raised their hand. Let me see who was it. Teacher. Uh, yes, someone raised their hand. Alina levantó la mano. Yes. Yes. Okay. Who was it? I I have a question. Francisco. Uh, the, the, the same came for the fish to bread which one repeat please is is the same case to the 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 now fish with the but the fish is not is is because i uh, your connection i can barely hear you i hear some words and i'm sorry francisco but la conexión como que no lo oigo bien a usted uh, can you repeat it, please? Okay. Uh, my question is because the fish is contact is the same case with mm, No, Beatriz, lo puedo escuchar al final usted. No sé si soy yo. Roland? No, I no. I couldn't hear very well. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really. Okay. I don't. Yeah. So I came to try the thought of my. Okay, but I I managed uh, to hear a little bit, you... Francisco. But yes, it's the same with uh with these like flour and dirt and dust and sugar and rice. The same as bread. Yes. If that's what you okay. were. Okay, yes, it's the same. You can make like, for example, rice, right? You can't say like, yeah, give me rices. You cannot, right? You cannot say, mm -hmm. ar arroces, right? Okay. You, can't, you can't, not even in Spanish, right? So it's uncountable, but you can say, give me two scoops mm -hmm. of rice, but rice stays the same. Mm -hmm. we but we, we can use a uh, fish with S or, or, or only fish or okay. fishes. If, no, it stays the same. Fish is two fish, three fish. Okay. Now you might find it in some in some places that they actually put the ES, right? It's accepted um, now, but grammatically it mm -hmm. shouldn't. It shouldn't, right? It wasn't made that way. For example, fish or sheep. These are nouns that don't change. One sheep, two sheep, right? But they, they, oh. stay, they stay the same. Fish. Oh, okay. All right. You can say, yes, I want to fish. Mm -hmm. You can say to fish, right? Now, it's also accepted if you put the ES. But notice here. The food is only if it's cut. Si está cortada en pedacitos. Ah, right? okay. Small, small parts. Then it, that's when it becomes I got uncountable. It. Okay? That's when it becomes uncountable because you can count fish. Uno puede contar los pescados, right? You can count fish. But when it's already cut or if you're going to eat a soup with cut <clears throat> fish, it's, it's uncountable. Okay? That's the difference. All right. Okay, I got it, teacher. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Okay, continue, please. Um, Rolando, continue, please. Some food. Okay, some food cut into small parts. Bread, fish, cheese, chocolate, meat, bacon, food, and ham. All right, very good. Very good, right? Very good. 
So we have some of this. And then if you say yes, do you want some coffee, right? People ask you, right? Do you want uh, some chocolate? They don't say, do you want some chocolates? If you're going to drink, si va a tomar chocolate or drink coffee, you don't say, do you want some coffees, right? Or some chocolates, right? No, right? Unless you have small candies. Yeah, si son dulcitos, si, verdad? You can count them, right? Uh, like Hershey's or, or other types. But when it's cut or melted, derretido or something like that, it's uncountable, okay? Okay, let's continue with gases. Let me find someone else to read. Um, Flor. Gases, liquids and gases. Liquids and gases. Gases. Water, meal, wine, oil, coffee, rain, soup, air, smoke, glow, juice, fog. Oh. Okay, can you repeat this one, please? Glow. It's blood. Blood. blood yes the double o makes a u, u sound blood. blood yeah blood 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 what is blood what is the meaning Angry. of blood yes Angry. very good sangre. very good okay blood all right that is sangre right very good so we have water milk wine and the rest these are liquids or gases are non are uncountable all right uncountable because you do not count water right now you can say water bottles right botellas de agua you can say that but water in general right está cayendo la, la aguas no right is is you say water right you do not say waters right water so you do not say milk right milk and gases right like fog fog Nieblina, fog. Okay, this is nieblina, fog. When you're driving, it's like you can barely see it's like cloudy or something, right? Okay, continue, please. Diana. Materials. Materials. Good glass, paper, gold, silver, ice, iron, cotton, wool, steel. Okay, can you repeat the first one? Wood. Excellent. Very good. You said good, right? So very good correction. Very good, right? Good job, Diana. All right. So for materials, we use uncountable also. Okay. These are all uncountable. Gold, silver, right? And wood, iron, and the rest. And let me see. Continue, please, Diana. Me? Yes, continue. Uh, with some food. No, be careful. Uh, be careful. Uncountable in English. Furniture, advice, work, news, information, luggage, and money. Very good. Uncountable. So here, be careful because I know in Spanish, we can change these to countables, right? But in English, you can't. They stay the same. Right, furniture, right? Advice, consejos, right? And work and use information, luggage, and money. So if you want to take a picture of this and keep it for yourself, you can. Okay, let's continue. Let me see. All right, as I was telling you earlier, right, some of the obstacles that a lot of people face is the how much and how many, okay? I understand that how much you can also use it whenever you're going to the store and you're asking for the price, right? Hey, how much is that? How much is that TV, right? But here we're going to use it in a different perspective. We're going to use it in, in, in a way where we're going to use uncountable nouns and countables, right? How much and how many, they both refer to the same thing. They both refer to the same thing. The only difference is one is used with countables and the other with 
uncountables, right? And that was the that was the issue that was here. Okay, remember when I showed you this at the beginning with with this slot right here with much and many. These two right here, totally opposite, totally opposite, although they mean the same thing, right? Okay, let's go. All right, so I'm going to leave you here and I want someone to read, continue reading, please. Um, let me see. Beatriz. Well, it says how much? How much? I want to know the quantity or amount. Excellent. How much plus uncountable noun? How much sugar would you like? How much time do we have to finish? How much money did you spend? How much meal is in the fridge? All right, very good, very good. If you notice here, these are all the, let me, let me put this right here real quick. If you notice, these are the nouns, right? Sugar, time, money, milk. Okay, if you notice, they are all uncountable. Uncountable. They are not in plural form, right? They are not in plural form. Versus, continue please, Beatrice, you're doing great. How many? I want to know the quantity or amount. Okay. How many plus plural countable noun? How many days are there in January? How many students are in this room? How many books did you buy? How many cousins do you have? Very good, excellent. So if you notice here, that noun is in plural form, plural. So we use how many with countable, plural, only, only plural. Do not, this is not for singular, all right? Remember that. How many is for plural, countable. And this is where a lot of dilemmas come because they both have the same definition. If you notice here, they both have the same definition. You have to be able to determine that how many is for plural countable and how much is for uncountable nouns. Here's the key. Now, any questions here? Because I want I want to see you do this activity. Just to practice. Okay. Edwin, do you have any questions? No, I'm clear. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So all you have to understand is if it's plural and countable, you use how many. Mm -hmm. If it's uncountable, you use how much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And, they, and they are not in plural form. All right. So okay. do this. Let's do number one. It says, "How many potatoes?" Right? How many potatoes? Potatoes is plural. Plural. So we use how many potatoes, and we can count potatoes. Podemos contar las papas, right? Yes. Yes. So we use how many potatoes are there? All right. I want you to do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 12. This is just a practice, okay? You can just do it there in your notebook. Okay. Just for practice. And I want to see how well you are able to use how much and how many.
remember since we're talking about food remember we're talking about fish here right uncountable okay we're talking about cuanto pescado hay we're talking about a dish right food I'm going to give you like one more minute to finish one more minute you do not have to send it to me okay because we're going to do it here in class so you don't have to send it the activity so just have it in your notebook who is finished who has finished okay I finished. Diana, Juan Jose, Brenda okay mm -hmm. I, I, I almost finished I'm okay. doing the last one Okay, great. You have about maybe a few seconds left. And then I'm just going to call on people to give me the answer. Okay. A few more seconds. Finish. All right. Okay, class, let's let's begin. Okay, we did number one already. What is number two here? We're talking about meat. How much? How much? Exactly. How much, right? How much meat? How much meat, right? Notice it's, it's not plural, so we use how much because it's uncountable, right? Uncountable. Very good. How much? Number three, Juan Jose. Um, how much there is there? How much butter is there? Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Abigail, number four. Number four is okay, can you how repeat? many? Excellent. Excellent. Can you give the sentence, please? How many? How many peaches are there? Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Next one. Um, Fabio. Okay. Um, how much pizza is there? Very good. Excellent. How much? Number six. Um, Flor. How much ham is there? Very good. Excellent. Brenda, number seven. How much honey is there? Very good, excellent. Number eight, Freddy's. How much sal is there? Very good, excellent. Number nine, Edis. How many bottles of milk are there? Very good, excellent. Diana, number 10. How much fish, fish is there? Very good, excellent, very good. Edwin, number 11. 
how many strawberries are there? Very good, excellent. Number 12, um, Beatriz. How many slices of bread are there? Very good, excellent, good job. All right, was it difficult? Was it difficult? No, right? No. All right, I hope you, if some of you had any doubts, I hope those doubts are cleared. All right, excellent. Let me see, let's go to the next one. All right, I think we, we pretty much, let me see. All right, now, with, with few, a little, or a few, a little or a few. All right, let me go back. A little or a few. All right, this is a little bit different. A little here with non-count nouns. A little. And you can look at it here also, right? All right, you use it with uncountable nouns. And few, you use with countable nouns, right? Or a few with countable nouns, right? That is the difference. They both refer to something small or minimum or minor or slight. poquito, just a little bit, right? Small, just slight, right? But they differ. One is for non-count and one is with count. So remember that when we go back to this activity, right? Similar to this one, similar to the one we just did, but with different vocabulary. Let's go back. All right. Let me see. What will number one be? A little or a few? A few. A, a few. few. A few apples, right? Because it's countable. Yeah. Right? We can count them. Number two. A little. A little. A little, a little right? Non countable or uncountable nouns. Very good. Number three. A few. A few. A few. A few. Very bicycle. good. A few bicycles, right? A few bicycles. Juan Jose? Number four? What number? Trees. Uh, four. It's um, a few. Okay, very good. A few trees. Very good. Number five, Edwin? A few. Very good. Excellent. Number six, Fredis? No. Very good, excellent. Number seven, Jackie. Uh, a few. Very good, excellent, excellent. A few. Number eight, number eight, um, Glenda. A little. Very good, a little, very good. Number nine, Brenda. A little, Very a good. little sugar. Yeah, just a little sugar, right? Or a little bit, right? I mean, well, you can also use a little bit, right? You can also use that one. Very good. That is correct. Excellent. Fabio. A few cups. A few cups, all right? Flor? A little bread. Very good. Excellent. Diana? A few. Very good. Excellent. Let me see, Jarvin. A little. Very good, excellent. Rolando. Uh, a little. Very good, excellent. Iris. Thank you. Very good, excellent. Abigail. Uh, a few chairs. Very good, excellent. Let me see, Francisco. A little. Very good, excellent. Jennifer. Jennifer. What? Oh. 
A uh, few. Okay, very good. A few, very good. Excellent. All right, uh, Blanca. A little. Very good, excellent. And finally, uh, go ahead and finish, Blanca. A few men. Very good, excellent. Good job, good job. Right, that is dealing with a few and a little. Okay, let me pause for a minute. It's already past nine. So I have to do the second attendance, okay? The second attendance. Okay. Abigail. Present. Thank you. Beatriz. Sí. Ana Beatriz. Okay. She doesn't have internet. Okay. She lost. She lost. Yes, yeah, she, she was here. All right. Um. Okay. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Brenda. Present. All right. Thank you. Carlos. Carlos Jose. Okay, no answer. Diana. Present. All right, thank you. Edwin. Present. All right. Flor. Present. All right, thank you. Francisco. Francisco Amadeo. Okay. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Uh, Freddy's. Yeah. All right, thank you. Glenda. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris. Present. All right, thank you. Jackie. I'm here. All right, thank you. And uh, Jarvin. Present, teacher. All right. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Juan Jose. I'm here. All right, thank you. Miguel Angel Centeno. Okay, no answer. Robert, I mean, Fabio. I'm here. All right, thank you. Eh, Rolando. Hello. All right. And Janari. I'm here. Okay, glad to see you here. Okay, I hope everything's well. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Okay. Let me see. Okay, class. I have to mention something. Okay. I have to share something with you. Okay. That, uh, that relates to the homeworks in the platform, okay? Now, I'm going to call some names, okay? I'm going, when I call your name, just, you don't have to say here, I just want you to acknowledge that I called your name, okay? Abigail, Beatriz, Brenda, Diana, Edwin, Freddy's, Glenda, Iris, Jackie, Jarvin, Juan Jose, Fabio and Janari. Okay, if I call your name, si yo llame su nombre, I want to, I want to tell you that I already uploaded, ya subí su calificación. All right, that means that you have completed the homework. Eso significa que usted ha completado la tarea. All right. 
ya la mandé a la plataforma administrativa eh, aquellos que ya lo terminaron si llame su nombre ok so thank you for for uh, uh, for finishing the homeworks in the platform eh, para aquellos que aún no lo han hecho o no han logrado el 80% de calificación eh, tienen hasta las 12 para hoy y yo estaré despierto esperando ok para subir la nota de ustedes ok All right. Thank you for completing the first activity on unit one. Okay, for the ones that are. And let's continue. All right, let me see. All right. Let me see. All right, what about, let's do this one real quick. And this will be the last one uh, pertaining to a little or a few. Let me see. All right. Number one, what would it be? Could I have? Can someone read the sentence, please? A few, few. Uh, could I have a few sugar for my tea, please? Mm. Little bit of sugar. Uh, a little. A little. A little bit. Yeah, a little. Right. A little, right? Because okay. it's un uncountable. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right, uncountable. Yes, it's sugar. It's not plural, right? So it's uncountable. Very good. All right. Number two, who wants to do number two? A few. Okay. okay, all right, Diana, go ahead. Uh, if you want to make pancakes, you need a few eggs and a little bit of flour. Flour, flour. Flour. Excellent, good job, good job, excellent. All right, number three, um, Iris. Have you got a little minute, uh, a few minutes. I need to talk to you. Okay, very good, very good. A few minutes, right? Because you can count, it's in plural, right? Very good, excellent. Number four, um, Edwin. When I'm on holidays, I always write a few lines home. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Number five. Number five. Let me see. Brenda. Number five. I have a little headache. Very good. Excellent. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Freddy, right? I hope you get better, Freddy. Right? You've been like off and on, but I, I admire your, your strength to be in class, okay? And always be attentive. So that, that shows a lot about you, okay? So thank you. All right, let me see number six, uh, Fabio. Jane has invited a few boys to her party. Very good, excellent. Number seven, Flor. There is a still a little work to do. Okay, great, great. Number eight, uh, Glenda. They song a few songs. Very good, very good. Very good. A few songs. All right, very good. Number nine. Um Rolando. Okay, who said me? Jackie? Yes. Oh, okay, go ahead, Jackie. Would you like uh, a little more rice? Okay, very good. Yeah. A little more rice, right? A little bit more rice and a little bit extra, right? All right, look at this. Did you eat a lot? Not much, just a little, right? Just a little, right? This little picture right here, right? Did you eat a lot? Especially, just especially the if you are in diet. <laughs> yeah, all right? That would be me right here, right? That would be me. <laughs> you like, no, just a little, right? I only ate like 10 slices of pizza, right? Only, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me see. Okay. Let's 
continue, what I'm going to do is, if you notice here, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. All right. And look at look at these. Look at these. Uh, okay, who wants to read this one? Okay, we will have to use the word many here. How much English words mm -hmm. do you know that start no. with the letter Z? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many English words? English words. Words. Words is in plural. Okay, how many English words do you know that start with the letter Z? Z. Hey, I saw Jackie. Jackie, what happened? Uh, what happened? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, let's see, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Name as many as you can. You're going to do this in, in breakout rooms with your classmates, okay? So I want I'm going to enter. How many English words do you know that start with the letter C? Okay. Uh, next one. What are some? Very good. Some, right? What are some? ¿Cuáles son algunas? Right? Some of your favorite English words. I'm pretty sure some of you have some English word that you're like, yeah, that's my favorite word, right? Or you say it a lot, right? Next one. Okay. Do you know of, what well, we'll go here? Some. Okay, of some good website. Or what else can we say here? Many. You know of many, all right, many, or, all right, very good. Do you know of any, alguna, right? Or you can use any also, right? Those are all acceptable, the ones you said. Any good websites, anything related with countable, right? Countables. Good websites for practicing English, for practicing English. This one, what is some, all right, who can read it? Um, Jackie, go ahead. Okay, what is something you can never have to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to... You can never have to, it's a bear. Mm -hmm. It's a quantifier. Is a mm. Too much. Too much. Too much. Right? Que es algo que no tiene, no tiene lo suficiente, right? Too much up, mm -hmm. right? Right? Too much up. What is something you can never have too much of? Right? Nunca puede tener lo, lo más de ello, right? Too much mm -hmm. of. Huh? What happened? Money. Money, right? You can never have too much of it. Like, you have a hundred, you want more, right? Give me 200, 300, right? It, it's something, it's a, it's something that never ties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? exactly, right? It never ends or you, you just want more and more of it, right? Right? And name three, you have to name three, okay? This is an activity, this is a speaking activity, okay? I think uh, when I was with, who was it, Brenda? Yes, when I was with Brenda, I was, talking with her about this, that I had planned this for yesterday, but due to some, some discrepancies with the, with some of the quantifier, I decided to do it for today. All right. So I think we're better, we're better prepared for this one today. Right, Edwin, you prepared for this one today? Yes. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. You can take a screenshot or a picture and I'm going to uh, let you share screen in case you want to share it. And what I want you to do is just speak and have fun, enjoy. All right? Use the quantifiers to ask the questions, all right? To ask the questions. Okay. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms in groups of let me see. Groups of five. Okay. Well, I think it's going to be one or two that are going to have four. Okay, class. One, two, three. Breakout rooms and enjoy your conversation.
Teacher, I can't go. Mm, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do, Rolando, is I'm going to put you in another group and then take you out and put you in room number two. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's check. One, two, three. Yes, yeah. everything, everything conversation. Maybe. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, I, I like uh, the word could, could, 
But when I when I notice it that it's not cool, it's cool. Could you mind do ta 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 ta? Could you explain that? Could you like that? Oh, we are so smart, guys. <laughs> could, could you buy the plane ticket? All right. <laughs> I'll <float. laughs> yeah, okay. I would take five. Five plane tickets, huh? All right, good. I like to interesting. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Interesting. Amazing, too. I like that. What is the question? I think we just have to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Everyone has some? to take their own notes just for <laughs> just saying, like in the. I one, suppose we are going to explain then. No, no, this one is just we. I think this was just Joe thinking. we talking about. about yes, about. This, about this, this was just. Speaking. This was just about a group. The this was just about a the group interaction. That's it. And all you're going to do is speak. Okay. Mm -hmm. They speak. That's it. Ask each other the question. How many how many English words do you know that start with the letter C? And then you interact. This is all it was. A group interaction. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. So with the, with our favorite words, yeah. I don't think I have any that I That we can use. Yeah. We just need practice more because when we don't practice, we forgot, forget the words. Yeah. yeah. From the last model, I, I just remember more casually <laughs> because of the meaning was so different that I so so <laughs> and I don't remember I can't hear you yes is there is a noise in the background okay. that You are under a tunnel. And that are some things that can help a lot. Yeah. Or they made the, the tea. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. When we started the pandemic, uh, my mom make a, a thing, but she put that wherever. <laughs> 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 Study chemical, chemical engineer. Oh, my yes. career was named in chemical pharmacy. It's very difficult that career. 
Um, yeah. But it's really cool. <laughs> yes, but but it's beautiful. Yes, I think I think that is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, did you like? Did you like? Okay, welcome back, everyone. Hope you had a good conversation with your fellow classmates. And now um, we're okay. going to do, <laughs> all right, we're, we're going to do a final activity right here on page 16. If you go to page 16 on your module, which is the pretty much the last page, page 16, okay, page 16. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show it here also. Look, look teacher. Hello? I got a copy of the book. Where? Where are you? Where? I'm here. Edwin. All right. Let me see. All right. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yes. I have a copy like you ah. said yesterday. <laughs> exactly. Right. It makes it easier. Right. It yeah. It's it more easy. easy like this. Yes. It makes it easier because remember on, on unit two, there's going to be a few writing activities. And if you don't have the, 
the, the module printed and it's going to be you're just going to be writing 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 all right yeah yeah that's awesome great i'm glad to hear that edwin perfect thank you perfect let's see i also saw your score on your homeworks you got a hundred right on all your five activities on the homework on the platform right so nice all right great job all right let's see i'm going to share with you this one okay here it is right here if you have it you can easily read it because you're going to to do this activity it's basically a speaking activity but you have to write just a little bit and basically reading okay basically reading and writing now can you give me the topic can you read the topic please um freddy's can you read the where it says building vocabulary the following oh okay it says build building vocabulary the following are strategies to handle the decline stage of a product go online and find out more information about each of them all right very good so we have four here these are four strategies four strategies to handle the decline stage of a product so if a product is declining these are some strategies that companies or anyone in the market can apply lower the prices right some people say you know what maybe we're just a little too expensive right let's lower the prices and let's see if more customers come or repackaging discontinuation innovation co-branding so what i want you to do is go online and try to find something just like the instructions say go online and find out a little bit more I want you to give me something brief, right? I don't want you to be like la 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 and giving me a five minute explanation about lower prices. Five minute about this. No, just give me something brief, okay? Maybe one sentence, one or two sentences per topic. And if you already if you already know some of these, maybe you can just share them with the class okay for example lower prices i think that one's pretty much obvious right we don't need to go research the internet to find out what lower prices really means right can someone just give to the class and share what do they mean by lower prices okay uh, reduce yeah. the price of the as much okay very good reduce diana uh, things that don't cost much. Very good, excellent, right? So you just lower the prices, right? Lower just a few dollars, right? All right, that's it. That's basically it. What about repackaging? What do you think that means? Uh, that was kind of easy also. What do you think is repackaging? When you, when you change the package of a product. Very good, very good. Maybe you change... Improve, you improve exactly very good you improve it right maybe you change colors right to try to be more attractive with the product okay what about discontinuation breaking off mm -hmm. Diana? breaking off an interruption temporarily or permanent okay very good very good anyone else Anyone else? Somebody said anything? Somebody said something also? Maybe when a product is obsolete and the customer uh, don't, don't like and go back. Yeah, all right. Maybe uh, obsolete discontinuation, no longer in the market, right? It's like, ah, 
you know what, let's discontinue, right? So if you go to the store and say, hey, do you have this product? No, it's discontinued, right? Whatever we have, that's it. We finish with it, right? Discontinued, right? What about innovation? Something new. Okay, something new. Anyone else? What is innovation? Something new, she said. Very good. Anyone else? That would like to share? Something creative to improve a product or to improve our life. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Jennifer. Good job. Yes. Very good. Anyone else? New Anyone? ideas or, or service. All right. Yes. Very good. Relating with the ideas, right? Very good. It is. Yes. That, those are all part of innovation. Right, exactly. You have you have to have some good ideas also, right? Or better ideas. Okay, this one maybe not everyone can know. What is co-branding? If you want to look at it online, you can. Co-branding. It's when you make a combination of brandings or different branding. Brands. Sorry. Well, <laughs> brands uh, make an alliance. Make an alliance. Alliance. An al al what? <laughs> al alliance. Alliance. Al alliance. An alliance. That's all. Very good, Diana. Good job. Right? Yes, an alliance, right? And just like Blanca said, right? Also, right? Branding. Different different brands come together, right? And like Diana said, make an alliance, right? Una alianza, como decimos, right? Very good, Diana and uh, Brenda. Yes, that is correct. Now, here's the question. Do you know of any product that is considered co-branding? And share it, please. Just give me an example. Like the new, uh, the new chicken nuggets that are selling the pollo campero. Okay. The with Dorito. Ah, all right, very good. Yes. So they they're trying to go with Doritos because they know that Doritos is a big brand. It's an international brand, right? So they try to mix it and they form an alliance. Very good, Fabio. Good good uh, analysis there what other what other products uh, i remember that a product that the uh, one company that uh, built a roof roof um eureka it was the name we, i am work i am talking about uh 25 years maybe and uh, they co-branding with another enterprise that build PVC uh, pipes, types okay. of PVC, and they joining. In this moment, they call in uh, a manco. Okay, all right. They join. All right, then so they join, right? Okay, very good, Juan Jose. Anyone else? Diana, did you want to say something? No, no. Okay. Anyone else can give me another example of co branding? I think, I think that it, um, on the supermarket, mm -hmm. they put two brands together to sell one of them. <laughs> and I, they put, I don't know, soup Maggie with, uh, I don't know how to say, videos. Okay, I, I, noodles? I noodles? Noodles. Noodles and food soup Maggi. Maggi soup. <laughs> All right. They make a, a co-branding. Okay. And, All right. In the supermarket, they always do that. Yes, they, they do, right? Okay. Sure. I uh, think... There is a, a cereal, a famous cereal in the supermarket. And they made an alliance with Hershey's. Cornflakes okay. with chocolate. Hershey's. All right, with Hershey's, right? 
All right. So they 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 form an alliance. 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 Okay, Jackie. Okay. Alliance. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Perfect. Good examples. Now, this is what we're going to read. Read an excerpt about the decline of Apple's iPod. Right. So there was a decline. There was a decline. Let's let's read it. Um, who would like to participate with the first paragraph? First paragraph. Okay, and Blanca. Participate. Okay. Okay. Who else? Blanca, Rolando, and Jennifer. Okay, with the first paragraph, right? Yes. Okay. Twelve years and twenty-six devices later, the generation the Finding iPod wrench looks like it's about to fade into history without so much as a whimper. Mm -hmm. I think all of us have known for some time that iPod is a declining business. State Apple boss Tim Cook in 2014 discussing the company's latest earn earnings report <laughs> okay he announced massive profits profits as ever but noted that ipod sales have dipped 52 percent down on this time in 2013 with further 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 drops expected okay all right expected expected all right, let me see. Continue, please. Who was next? It was uh, Rolando, right? Okay. The iPhone has been nervously looking over his shoulder for some time. When the iPhone was launched in 2007, the Steve Jobs said that it was the best iPhone we ever made, and he was right. With its apps and other manners, the iPhone me means there was no longer any news to um, an iPod as a separate device, so long as you could afford it. Okay. Apple wasn't afraid. Uh, continue? Yes, please. Apple wasn't afraid, afraid to create a product that would disrupt a social exciting existing time, existing business. Apple truth. If we don't do something, someone else will. Okay, very good, very good. This word right here. Successful. 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 All right. Uh, uh, successful. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. Very good, right? Dealing with uh, la area exitosa, right? Successful. All right. Uh, yes. Let me see. The last part was um, who did me I call? Teacher. Who did I call? I can, who was it? Okay, continue. And even today, despite the dramatic fifty-two percent fall, the iPod Ranch is still generates big revenues. Nearly hundred thirty-three millions, but. Out Apple's total revenues is just a minor sideline or a technology new site the bridge put it a hobby, which leaves most people in the know that to predict that while Apple may not discontinue the iPod in the very near future, we are unlikely to see any kind of of significant significant update of the device devices devices very good can you repeat this number please my hundred seventy three millions good. excellent million million millions no without the s million yes nine hundred seventy three million very good excellent all right, good okay. job. Okay. 
million dollars, right? We're talking about dollars. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so that was Apple, right? And so it started declining a little bit. The sales dipped. Dip means they fell, okay? Sales had dipped. That means they, they fell a little bit, 52%. But, you know, they're still in business. They will probably never go broke, okay? Now, what national product? Okay, I want someone to read here, Brenda. Identify. Teacher, Brenda or Glenda? Brenda, Brenda. Okay. Brenda. <laughs> okay, but I do not hear her. Okay, let Holy me God, see. I continue. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, identify the strategies Apple has applied to deal with the imminent decline of the iPad. Choose a national product service in the decline stage. In his. In his decline stage. Okay. Discuss possible strategies that the manufacturing distributing company could apply. What advantages would those strategies bring to the company? Okay, so this is just one question in uh, three questions in one, right? So it's like, okay, first you have to select a product and then uh, let me see. And what you're going to do is select a product and then discuss possible strategies, discuss possible strategies. What do you think, can, can someone tell me a product that is declining or what I want you to do is I want you to I'm going to put you in breakout rooms for about three or four minutes and I want you to analyze a product and I want you to just speak in a group and talk about it talk about it for about four or five minutes discuss the strategies it has to be a national product it could be any product national international or state product okay, okay. all right and I'm going to put you in breakout rooms that way you can just just share your idea. Be brief, okay? I'm going to give you like five minutes. Okay, let me see who was that. Uh, all right, I'm going to put you in the same breakout rooms. One, two, three. I'm going to give you just five minutes, okay? Because it's almost 10 o'clock. All right, one, two, three. Think of a product and think about strategies. that can bring to the company, that you will bring to the company to make the product better. Use 
Yeah, the beeper is a good example that it's flying. <laughs> the beeper. But, <laughs> yeah. Very good. I'm too, I'm too old to know, I'm too old to know about that. <laughs> okay, that's good, right? Good answer there. I'm too old, right? Okay. All right. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. All right, the beeper, the beeper. The beeper okay. is a good example. Yes, yes, it is. The beeper was in decline, right? Yeah. Right. I don't think the beeper really made it that big in El Salvador, but it was very big in the United States when it first came up. It was very, very popular. Yeah, it yeah was, but here too, in some moment, useful. Okay. Yeah, because my parents, my parents have one each other, one each other. <laughs> yeah. My, father, my parents. I think I think one. one of the best friends I think was Unidin or something like that. I can't remember. And the other was, uh, uh, I can't remember what the other good brands were. I know Uniden was one. The Tamagotchis. Too. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. those, exactly. Yes. They declined that. Yes, Teacher, yes. we will uh, share our ideas after in the main session. No, this was just uh, so you can share it right here with your group. That's it. We are, to we are only talking about yes only but, sharing your ideas okay. yes okay 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 another you. another thing that you remember that it's declined Another product was the Rocanieves. Rocanieves, huh? All right. Another Groupies. <laughs> Groupies, all right. All right, Money. let me see. Okay, class, welcome back to the main session. All right, we are here, everyone back. So welcome. And I'm pretty sure y'all were probably wanting a little bit more time, right? But it's already past 10. Just a baby one or two minutes past. And I'm going to take the final attendance and the two hours are already finished. Let me see. Okay, it's going to be brief. Abigail? Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz? Okay, I think she didn't have connection. Blanca? Present. All right, great. Brenda? Present. Thank you. Carlos? Carlos? Okay, no answer. Diana? Present. Thank you. Erwin? Present. Thank you. Flor? Present. All right, great. Francisco? Present, teacher. All right, great. Fredis? I'm here. All right, great. Glenda. Present. 
All right. It is. Present teacher. Thank you. Jackie? Present. Okay. And Jarvin? Present. Okay. Jennifer? Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Juan Jose? Present. Okay. Miguel Angel? Okay. I don't think he has entered the class. Fabio? Present. Okay. Rolando? I'm here. Okay, great, excellent. Janari? I'm here. Okay, great. Okay, class. And remember that, um, les quiero decir algo también que les comenté temprano, and I'm going to say it in Spanish, por si eh, auditan la conferencia. Eh, recuerden que cuando yo les menciono de la plataforma, este, esto viene del área administrativa. Ok, so la área administrativa es quien me pide a mí que les notifique sobre el, el requerimiento de las tareas en la plataforma y obtener y recordarles que tienen que obtener el 80% de nota. Y recuerden que esto no viene de mí, ok, esto, son ya, esto ya viene ya de INSAFOR, ok, Estas, estos requerimientos, ok, no que yo le, eh, esto es mío, no, this is eh, requerimiento de INSAFOR, ok, yo nomás les estoy recordando. Para aquellos que aún no han completado las tareas en la plataforma, les suplico que por favor lo hagan, ¿ok? Y aquellos que ya los terminado, pues ya les llamé los nombres y, y ya les subí sus notas, ¿ok? Yo estaré pendiente hasta las 12. Eh, yo me quedo hasta esa hora porque hasta esa hora tienen para eh, hacer las tareas en la plataforma. Cuando ustedes lo terminen, a mí me cae una nota and I put it on the platform, ¿ok? So, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me and I'm always available and I know there are some here that have already asked me questions about the platform. So good night everyone and take care and I'll see you good tomorrow, night. okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, see you tomorrow. Good night, good night Diana. Good night. 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 Good night.